Hey everybody, we are going to make a rotor or circular pattern that looks just like this. So, when you're opening up Onshape, you want to go to Create and Document, and then we're going to title it. Don't forget to put your initials at the end. Okay, so it was circular, but we're not going to start with a circle. We're going to start with something different. So, I'm going to click on the right um, view there, the right plane, and hit Sketch. And I'm going to rotate it around and I'm going to grab a line. So I'm going to make a backwards L, not so much paying attention about um, dimensions yet. And I do want to point out that I started on the origin right there. And I didn't, and you can see, I didn't even touch the origin. So uh, I'm going to delete that line and I want to make sure that there you go it's enclosed i'm also going to draw a line right underneath there and i'm going to hit escape so that um, it is separated okay one thing i want to do is grab the perpendicular constraint and make sure that that is perpendicular now it looks like it's at a right angle and i am going to start dimensioning so i'm going to go from this baseline this bottom line here to the bottom there and i'm going to make that 0.375 i'm going to grab the top and the bottom of these and i'm going to make that one one inch and i'm finally going to grab the very top of that backwards l and the baseline and i'm going to make that 2.5 so I've got the height, now let's do the width. So the total width from the right side to the left side of that backwards L is gonna be one inch. And each of those little sections is gonna be a half of an inch. Whoop, I need to fix that. Let's grab that perpendicular constraint and snap that into place. All right, so we got a backwards looking L. Next thing I'm going to do is hit the green check mark and go back to my isometric view so that I can grab that rotate or revolve tool. I'm going to click on it once and then I'm going to click on the revolve axis and go around that line. There we go. There's our rotor. Okay. I am just going to turn off the right plane right there so I can grab the top or the front view and click sketch. I am going to rotate a little bit, so I'm looking straight at it. One thing I want to do is add a point. So over here to point, we haven't, I don't think we've used this yet, and I'm going to add a point right there, right in the middle. And then I'm going to grab a circle and draw a circle. Now if you hover over, you'll notice there's a dotted line that gets started. So I want to make sure that that is straight vertical. Another way you can do that is to use your vertical constraint. All right, grab a dimension tool, center of that circle, center of that circle, and we want to make that 1.65. 1. Oh, 1. There we go. And now the dimension of the circle is going to be a half inch. And then I'm going to finish that and extrude that part that we just made and remove it and make sure that it's through all. Okay, we can do that uh, nine more times because you need 10 total. Or you can go here to circular pattern and you can go, we want to do a featured pattern and then click on that feature that you just made. Grab the axis of like either one of these circles actually, any one of these circles will do. And it defaults to 360 degrees, which we want, but we want more than four of them. We want 10 of them. Um, I think if you click up here, it'll show you. There it goes. Click on the green, and hey, we're all done. That was pretty quick. So circular patterns are a game changer. There's also linear patterns, and I'll show you that a little bit later. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching, and make sure you show your teacher.